How about that? Is that better? Um. So, like, it is... All right, so is this, like, something that you're going to be able to watch on TV? Right? Are they going to, like, put it on, like, a cable network? Or is this just going to be for their streaming service? Right? The trailer for Lady... Dude, I've seen the trailer for Lady Ballers. That, that looked like one of the most cringe fucking things I've ever seen in my fucking life. Like, it... It, it was, like, a bunch of fucking... Like, again, it's a, it's a bunch of fucking right-wingers who wrote off you know, movies and video games and culture for 30 fucking years trying to be like, oh, hello, fellow children. Look, we can culture too. It was the, no, I won't watch the Lady Ballers. I saw other people watch it. It looked fucking terrible. So this is only for their streaming service. Yeah, and I also heard they had some like shit girl boss thing there at the end too. I watched, I was like, maybe I'll check it out. But everybody who that, who I know watched it was like, like, who was like, yeah, it, it kind of sucked. Like there were some parts that were funny, but. Because you're only going to get what you're going to get. We're not going to be able to control. You can't train a bull. We have to figure out how the set design works, but there will be yep. a, a professional bull arena in here. We need to to build like safety areas apart from that wall yeah. because it never happens, but they jump. Yeah. So like, do people not know that working with live animals, you can get hurt? Is this is this like mind-boggling to 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 Daily Wire? I mean, like, and don't get me wrong, like, whenever you do behind the scenes stuff, you're like, yeah, no, like. But usually it's a guy like, no, working with live animals like this is very dangerous. Like, there's a lot of safety precautions, but like the dramatic music of like, did you know that that bulls are dangerous? Yeah. Yeah. I grew up around them. I am very fucking dude. I'm telling you right now, I can still jump a fucking seven foot tall, high fucking cattle fence. Like right the fuck now. Right. Because you learn to do that shit. Ow! have to do some protection because of the bulls. So what you see here is a concrete wall. We had five beaks total to build. When you have like wide animals in the set, you But have like to also, really okay, I do appreciate actual sets. Did, did you know that water is wet? Yeah! I do like that. I mean, they're do, actually doing a live set uh, and they're gonna do some minor green screen work. I, I appreciate that. That's cool. I, I do appreciate that they're actually taking the craft of of, of filmmaking or series making. Careful, if, if this part's gonna fall down, we are in trouble. Me too, Roger. Bulls are no joke, yeah. Right? And we're going into the dramatic music of the behind the scenes. Week eight, the bull dance sequence. The thing I have been waiting for the most. Why the fuck is the camera so low? Like, dude, uh, YouTubers know that you center the camera at the eyes because, like, the focal point of the camera is the center of the shot. And his eyes are clearly not there. They're in the upper third. Like, YouTubers understand that you, you put your eyes in the... Like, that's... <laughs> I do like behind the scenes stuff though. I do. Right? Um I however am not a fan of like the Daily Wire. Okay? So yeah, I've already got my bias against this. Against this. I like that they're doing real sets. I think that their filming looks good. Uh I think that um this isn't going to go anywhere and they're going to lose a shit ton of money on it because they're not going to put it out anywhere that people can actually go and fucking watch it, right? Right, I'm not going to subscribe to the Daily Wire to watch this. Oh no, I am aware Mike has bad knees. 
And common sense doesn't exist. And I have a whole thing in my OSHA classes that I talk about with that. The thing right. I have been waiting for the most. We've got our Hungarian stunt team with our incredible action director, Balazs. See, this Barkash, shit's cool. I love wire work. Our lead actress, Rose Reed. What? And finally, real Spanish bull leapers. They jump over actual dangerous wild bulls that will kill you in a second. See, that's cool. They are cool. not wearing wires. Like, they are not wearing protective pads. These jumps are going to be 100% yeah. real. See, I like that, though. Like, they got people that can actually do it. Our goal today is to shoot all like, six tricks. Three tricks with black bulls, three tricks with white yeah. bulls. I well, hope you've been enjoying the Fresh and Diaries. We are in Rome at the famous Chinichita Studios. It's really the moment we've been prepping the entire time since the yeah. moment we knew that we were going to make this series. We have been faced with the challenge of how do you shoot the bull dance. Um. Right behind those golden gates are our eight Spanish bulls that are totally wild and will gore you to death in two seconds. Uh, no, they are not fucking totally wild. <laughs> They are not totally fucking wild. These are domesticated bull. You know how I know they're domesticated? Because they're on the set of a fucking movie. Somebody owns them. Unless you're gonna show me footage of you guys going out and capturing these things in the wild. No, these are domesticated bulls. They are used to being around people, right? And to them, this is a game. The bull gets to come out and have fun for a few. Now, that being said, the game that they like to play could get you dead. But no, these are not, no. Come the fuck on. It's bullshit. It got brought in the other night. It's like the scene out of Jurassic Park. They loaded them in. Oh, yeah. We knew we were going to be in for it in a few days. We'll let them out. Dude, dude, these are guys that have never been around an animal before in their life. Like, they've never been around an animal before in their life. <laughs> I use large knife, Kahuna. What the hell? Cretans and Philistines. Kahuna, Cretans and Philistines, right? Yeah, you guys are still. Yeah. Turn them loose in this arena. This is the red zone. We have to really look down all around here with chain gates. No one can come down on our level except Well, and like the reason they do this is because they know that they are standing around a crap ton of people who have never seen a bull in their entire life, right? That's any it's scary, scary to watch. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that well, and that's what Jeremy Boring is. Jeremy Boring flat out admitted he's a Hollywood person, right? I mean, he admitted it in the Ben Shapiro Sunday special that he did. The Spanish team and the Hungarian stunt team. When they told me about the project, I was in love. These things with the bulls, is, I think, is the first and probably the last one. A Spanish you bull know? master. That right there tells you that the bulls that they have are not wild, completely wild. No. But I, but again, this is not just true for the Daily Wire. This is true for every promotion company ever. They are hoping that you, as the person watching this thing to get hyped for the thing that they're doing, don't know about real about the real fucking world. They are hoping that you are stupid enough to not understand that they are absolutely blowing smoke up your ass with a lot of this. It's called promotion, right? Now, they might believe it, too, because they've never been around it. Okay? But right now, they're like, this is so dangerous. We're doing dangerous stuff. Somebody could die. Well, yeah, somebody could die on a lot of movie sets. Like, and that's just a fact. Like, uh, some people, I mean, you could just have random accidents that happen on a movie set. Somebody can always die on a movie set. That's just a thing, right? Now, anytime you're doing stunts and stuff, like, everybody could die. They're not even free range. Those bull want to be in those crates uh, or they wouldn't be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and throw, but, but look at that. Like, not to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever tried to corral a bull? Anybody ever done that? Right. Hm. Wait, I could die. She has one. You know?
Cinecittà Studios is in Via Tuscolana. No, so Here you can find a set understand. like this, external set that uh, Cinecittà uses as a, a backlot set. In the past, we had a lot of international production. From, you know, the most famous, Ben Hur and Cleopatra, Life Aquatic of Steve Zissou, The Godfather. I will say that's Sometimes all. Sometimes it's something like of magic. Their set design and their costume design convinced. looks really fucking good. I mean, that looks People really fucking here. good. Not only money, not only capacity, even something of magic. I think so. I think so. Stephen Lawhead wrote this amazing sequence that takes place in Atlanta as part of their religion is having people dance. The ultimate kahuna for two bucks. Bulls only bite when you touch their kahunas. I've never been bit by one, but I'm going to tell you right now, you try to touch a bull's kahunas, you're not going to be having a good day. <laughs> you're just not. The one thing I didn't like about the footage released so far is that uh, they have Brett Cooper's character holding the spear wrong. Who's Brett Cooper? It's with bulls, it's these acrobatic leaps I don't know who over Brett living Cooper bulls, is. something that he borrowed from Minoan culture, where some of his inspiration came from for the Atlanteans. Very little of this takes place in the world today, a little bit in Spain, a little bit in the south of France. Certainly to our knowledge, there's never been anything at this level captured for uh, cinema. What? The logistics, no, my wife unbelievable. Does. You can see we're putting cameras in cages because angry Spanish bulls are about to come in and try to destroy them. We have all. Yeah. Oh my God. This is normal fucking movie making. Like, th this is just a thing. I, I, I here's. I, I will say this though. Okay. Behind the scenes are meant to give people the behind the scenes look, but I, I feel like anybody who is already interested in the buy. Well, I don't know. Because a lot of the Daily Wire people that are subscribers, they will probably say just any movie that they've ever made ever or show ever is just like the greatest because like Ben Shapiro, we like his political takes. Right. Uh -huh. I watched my grandpa get kicked one time. He kicked it back. Yeah. Oh, dude, I've seen people get him. I'm telling you right now, dude, a bull kicks me. I ain't getting up. This wire rigging overhead, cameras are going to be flying from all different kinds of angles. Uh, and we have actual Spanish bull leapers. These guys risk life and limb to do these unbelievable and they do. acrobatics. And that is we couldn't true. be more excited to have them as part of the show. I was a bullfighter. My father was a bullfighter. This is my world. This is why I feel so, so comfortable doing that. I agree, Tim Allen. I agree. All right. Action! Action! Man, that camera angle better look good. In my team, I have uh -huh. my two brothers, my father, yep. my assistant have here his brother as well. All of them and, are and professional. And what people don't realize is this bull, like, he's having a great time right because he's gonna come out he's gonna run around for a minute like this and and have a fun time and then he's gonna go back and they're gonna take him back and they're gonna give him pets and then they're gonna feed him right and that's part of his day right and then like if he's a stud like he might get fed and then he might get to go uh, uh go in, in into the heifer's pen and you know have some other fun like <laughs> it's yeah like <laughs> Anybody, you ever, like, dude, rodeo bulls, and people are like, that's, that's so barbaric. Dude, you could go up and scratch most rodeo bulls on the head, and they fucking love it. But when it's time for the show, like, they can be mean motherfuckers, and they can get riled up. But it's just people who've never, like, it, it's like the Daily Wire is sitting there talking to people who've never fucking seen an animal, ever. And this dude, this bull, like, he knows he's going to come out, he's going to have some fun, and he's going to go get scratchies, and he's going to go eat some food. Right? You know how I know? Because I fucking helped at rodeos before. And like, yeah, I give him about five or ten minutes to calm down. He's still a little wild. Then about five or ten minutes, so you go give him scratchies, and they sit there, and they fucking, you know. I keep your face away, because when they fuck, you know, their horns can still fucking hit you. But, you know, 
I mean, but they're they're like fucking dogs, dude. Champion in Spain. Oh my god. Right? He gets to run with the heifers. Yes! Oh. Oh yeah. No, it's I'm not saying it's not dangerous. Like this shit right here. Like, yes, that is dangerous. Okay? But like Oh he did it! He did it! <laughs> people are like, the bull is trying to kill you. It's literally been taught its whole life that this is playtime. The bull is not trying to kill you. The bull's just trying to have some fun. Although this is cool as shit, right? Like, this is something you never forget. Let's not say. We got and see, notice the bull's horns are filed down, but like, you know, you can say, bam! Like, that's cool shit, right? Like, let's not pretend but we don't that the stuff they're like doing right now isn't cool. From sports cameras, I want to be in here visceral. That'll make it feel like a movie instead of feeling like sports coverage. These are not trained animals. In fact, you only get about 20 minutes in the ring with. <laughs> <laughs> These are not trained animals. Are you fucking kidding me? That's yeah, that's why there's a guy there called a bull master. Boy, what the fuck would he be a master of? <laughs> Dude, have you ever been? You would never fucking say this shit at any of the largest rodeos in the U.S. You'd be like, yeah, no, of course they're trained. Somebody owns these motherfuckers. How the fuck do you think they got them here? They, these are not trained animals. <laughs> we just we just called the guy who owns them and, and 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 works with them every day and 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 you know and 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 has them do <laughs> fuck me sideways. Them. Uh, with each animal before it's burned forever. This one is no possible more. No. After about 20 minutes, the bulls start to learn the tricks. They're very smart animals. That's when things get particularly dangerous because the bull starts anticipating your moves. Yes. No, and that is true. That is true. Right? And, 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 and that, that, but again, that's why you swap them out, right? And, and that's why, but they're, they're, they're fucking trained. They're used to being around this right and this is playtime for them they're having fun the magic pixels brought them in fuck i forgot about the magic pixels that's right that's right you're not my type right stop propositioning me damn it what the fuck how am i propositioning you yes yes you know who else can take your life a, 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 a suburban wine mom behind the wheel of a fucking suburban taking her her children to soccer practice right she's not i'm not saying she's drinking at that time but like they can also take your life right you know who else can take your life? A fucking dog. A cat. There's a lot of shit. Yes, of course they can take your fucking life. It's just most people have never been around cattle ever in their lives. And so they, they will, like, all of the Daily Wire heads are just, oh, it's so dangerous. Look at how dangerous. They're just so I've never even seen a cow. It's so dangerous. <laughs> The bulls get so close to the bull leapers, and I mean, they just, they duck right back. And you know why they get close to the bull leapers? Because to put on a good fucking show, the bull leapers get close to the fucking bull. And they have practiced this with the bulls day in and day out. You never step in the ring with an animal that you are not familiar with. Are you fucking kidding me? They get so close. Look how close. Yeah, because it's for fucking spectacle. Have you ever seen a monster truck rally or a fucking rodeo or, you know, been to a circus where it's all death defying stunts that are perfectly rehearsed and probably safer than driving down the street next to a suburban 
mom taking her kids to soccer practice. <laughs> I was a skeptic at first, but now I'm a believer. <laughs> oh. Wow, it missed one of my chat. Wait, what chat message did I miss? What? Uh, I am being. What the hell are you talking about, Herman? Asked them, and you're like, oh my, they had to have been hit. They had to have been hit. It's insane. And they're so casual about it. They act like they just do it all the time, which I guess they do. I, mean, I would never want to get in the ring with them, but. Uh... Oh my God! So when this whole thing started, we were told the only people who were allowed to be in the ring with them were the very well-trained, lifelong veteran, Spanish bull leapers, plus me and Rose. One of us was scared for our lives. Yeah, it was him. It was him. Everyone told us we couldn't do this, and yet here we are, and we did it. There, there, no. <laughs> Anybody ever seen the movie Once Upon a Time in Mexico? That whole bullfighting scene and the guy gets hit by the bull? <laughs> Have you ever seen a movie with bullfights in it? Like, come... Mm. Everybody told us we couldn't do it. Not a fucking person said you couldn't. There might have been some people that like, hey, but like we're not used to working with animals, so maybe we should like, you know, be careful. <laughs> like I said, this is cool shit, right? Hire That's the it, professionals. We hate, we've enjoyed this production diary. You've seen all this amazing work that we've done here at Chinachita in Rome with our amazing goal leapers and our amazing goal sequence. And uh, of course, Hockey Unit took the week off. Look forward to seeing you back here for week nine production diary. We'll get those guys back to work and see if we can finish out our bowl sequence. Like all in one piece. That looks good. Right? Like, I, I mean, I, I just, the Daily Wire knows their audience. <laughs> The daily, like, that's all I could say. They know their audience, man. And every bit of that, the, the, it's so, like, oh, these bulls, they're just wild bulls. No, they're not. They just get so close to them, and, like, it's casual, because it is. Right? It's like, everybody told us we couldn't do it. And the Daily Wire heads are like, yeah, 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 Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because these people are basically just the right-wing version of suburban liberals. They've never seen a fucking animal in their life, okay? I doubt they've ever been to a farm in their life. They have lived their lives in suburbias and cities, okay? they I, I'm sure they've never, I, most people who watch The Daily Wire have probably never seen a behind the scenes of a movie in their fucking life. I'm not saying some, I'm saying most. So when they see this shit, they just, oh my God, they've got an animal. Didn't Eddie Murphy do like three fucking movies where he was like hanging out with tigers and shit? <laughs> I just, 